Hello, this is Professor Stuart Strother, and I'm going to help you make an ASAD graph. Step one is to get the data. We go to the CIA World Factbook website and we pull this data uh, GDP, official exchange rate, 215 billion. This is for the country of Algeria. We also pull the inflation data, which is 3.9%. Step two, we input the data. We've copied and pasted our data right into the Excel spreadsheet. Demand is 216 billion. The price level was uh, changing the 3.9% into an index number of 103.9. Step three, then, we need to estimate the additional data. So the price level we estimate as plus 1% going up the spreadsheet and minus 1 going down. Aggregate demand we change by 5% at each one of the cells going up. We increase by 5% going down. Aggregate supply is just the demand uh, reversed. Aggregate demand 2 is the aggregate demand minus 10, which represents a recession. And this is one of my childhood photos. Not sure how that got in. I used to wrestle bears. Step 4, rearrange the data. Here's the original data. I've color-coded it to show you how to rearrange it in the Excel spreadsheet. Step 5, to make the graph, we just click on scatter plot right here, and that will give us the graph right over here. Taking us to, oh, there's another one of my photos when I used to be an arm wrestler. Step six, to finish the graph, we just add the axes, axis labels, legend, and change the markers so each is distinct. And then step seven, all we have to do is copy and paste our document right into our Word document. And that, my friends, is how you make an ASAD graph.